Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to help you learn about psychology and mental health in a digestible way. So let's continue. Have you ever come across a mental condition or disorder that you've never heard of, but want to learn more about? While some mental health conditions are well-documented with treatment options, there are still others that we don't know very much about. Even the most seasoned mental health professionals scratch their heads as to the causes of them. So, Psych2Go presents 10 Rare Psychological and Neurological Conditions That You Should Learn About. Please note that while these conditions are unusual, there are people who experience these on a daily basis. Their struggles are just as valid as anyone else's and should be treated with the same respect as anyone else. We would also like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have a mental health condition, we highly advise you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Let's begin. Number one, erotomania. Erotomania is a condition where a person believes that someone, whether a celebrity or someone they know, is madly in love with them. They hold on to their belief even when there's no evidence of such being true and may even end up with false evidence to justify their behavior. They may sometimes demonstrate violent and obsessive behavior towards that person. Other times, it can be just an infatuation they don't act upon. Little is known about this condition, but it's believed to affect women more than men. Two, musical ear syndrome. Musical ear syndrome is an auditory hallucination commonly found in people who have tinnitus, though it can also arise from brain trauma, medication, and even stress. This syndrome can cause great levels of discomfort as they may be hearing the same song or sound over and over again. It's believed to be caused by the brain taking obscure, ambient noises and filling in the blanks, which can sound like music. Number three, visual snow syndrome. Those with visual snow syndrome can see what can best be described as static or visual noise overlaid on everything in their field of vision. The severity varies from person to person, where some may struggle with night vision or migraines. However, the majority may not even notice it. This syndrome is not considered a disorder and is often said to have little impact on a person's daily life. Number four, alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome is where your hand acts as if it has a mind of its own. Your hand becomes uncontrollable unlike the rest of your body. It may also act out in opposition. Imagine picking up an object off the floor only to have your hand suddenly and purposefully drop it down. This is a neurological condition with no cure but there are treatment options to manage it. Number five, folie à deux. Did you know that it's possible for two or more people in a close relationship to share the same delusions? Folie à deux, or shared psychotic disorder, is a psychotic delusion that develops in one person, the active participant, and gets passed on to a person close to them. It most commonly occurs in families. However, there have been reports where it affected a doctor and a patient, as well as a person and an animal. Number six, hemispatial neglect. Strokes are scary experiences in general that come with a variety of complications, one of which may be hemispatial neglect. This is a rare disorder where a person ignores half of a certain space. When asked to draw a picture of a clock, they may only draw half of one. In other instances, they may eat food off of one half of the plate. This condition is more neurological than psychological, meaning these actions are not intentional, rather a result of damage to the neurological system. Number seven, aphantasia. What do you see when you try to visualize a slice of pie? Perhaps it's creamy and rich, or maybe it's a goopy and vibrant red. While it may be easy for you to imagine it, people with aphantasia are unable to make a mental image of anything. It's an unusual condition that most are unaware of. While it's not considered a disorder, they may struggle with composing images in their heads and have a different dreaming experience. It's a strange phenomenon that is still not completely understood. Number eight, synesthesia. Can you imagine seeing different colored lights flash when you listen to music? Synesthesia is a condition that involves a stimulus activating multiple sensory pathways like hearing and seeing sounds. It can come in many forms and takes on variations within each form. While seeing colors with sound is one form, a person may also have words, numbers, or days of the week associated with colors. For example, 
Wednesday is blue. It's not considered a disorder, but rather a unique experience. Number nine, factitious disorder. Have you ever pretended to be sick to get out of going to school? People with factitious disorder take this to an extreme level where they intentionally try to get ill or harm themselves just to appear sicker. It can be hard to determine if someone has this disorder as they can become highly advanced at faking their symptoms. This is especially risky as they may take life endangering measures to convince others of their illness. And number 10, dancing mania. Dancing mania has appeared throughout history with an unknown cause. The dancing plague of 1518 was characterized by the citizens of Strasbourg breaking out into spontaneous and uncontrollable dancing. People who dance until they collapse of exhaustion only to begin again after resting. It killed approximately 15 people per day and went on seemingly without end. While the exact cause of it is unknown, most historians agree that it was likely a mass psychogenic disorder since the affected cities were under extreme stress from famines and disease. What are some other rare conditions to learn about? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more Psych2Go content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.